All right, I'm going to go ahead and um, call this meeting to order. Um, do you want to do roll? Yeah, just yeah. to make sure. Yep, you bet. Justin's going to take roll of the commissioners. Chairman Pendy. Here. Tom Lennon. David Azuelo. Chief Brown. Here. Uh, Chief Bunks. Chief Campbell. Here on the phone. Uh, Chief Chapel. Here on the phone. Chief Hancock. Director Arantia. Here on the phone. Chief Quinn. Here on the phone. Uh, Colonel Rayner. Here. Home. Chief Savage. The Phoenix Convention Center is the Shana Bills. Uh, Chief Woody. And Captain Morales. Here on the phone. We have a quorum. All right. Thank you, Justin. Um, thanks, everybody, for... What's that? That's how you see as well. Yeah. Okay. You want to go through them as well? Yeah, correct. Um, uh, Director Venuti? I ain't here on the phone. Captain Seiko? Uh, Jeremy Knoll? Here. Pete Weaver? Present on the phone. Jesse Cooper? Present by phone. And we have a quorum for the SIEC as well. Great. Well, thank you all for um, joining under such quick circumstances. Um, a lot's been happening very rapidly. Uh, as many of you know, over the past year, um, we've, the, the, the commission in our office has gone through um, several legislative meetings that have um, posed a lot of questions about the, the role and the value of the PSPC. Um, and so it, it's, been, it's been quite a struggle. It's been quite a long haul for us, and starting at JLBC last year, um, then into our sunset review process. Um, at the sunset review process, I'll, 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 I'll be frank, that it kind of caught me off guard, um, the questioning of kind of the continued, the continued effort and focus on a single statewide system. Um, and so we, we made it through that process with a recommendation to do a two-year continuation um, with um, an emphasis to come back within one year with a new strategic plan vision along with recommendations. Um, so we took that very seriously coming out of the sunset review. Um, we started to schedule meetings with each of the commissioners. We were planning to bring in um, some resources to help us really assess where the state was and where the state should be heading um, to really kind of refocus this organization and come up with a new strategic plan. Um, unfortunately, the day before uh, the continuation meeting at the House, um, we received information that some of the legislatures were still um, had serious concerns and open questions that they felt weren't answered. And um, we immediately reached out trying to set up meetings with them. Um, we were able to have some meetings prior to the meeting. Um, we asked to have the vote held on that day um, to, so that we could continue to address some of these issues. Um, You've probably seen or heard about the, that meeting. Um, some of the direct quotes were, it's going to be like catching lightning in a bottle. Um, you're going to have an uphill stream trying to get the votes um, should, to, to get a continuation of this program. There were several legislators that were very adamant about not having the PSCC continue. Um, so through some offline conversations with several of the legislators and, and the governor's office, Brian McNeil and I, um, worked with the, the governor's office and the legislatures um, towards towards the resolution of this. We were not going to get the votes for continuation of the PSCC, and so at this point, um, the PSCC is going to go through a sunset process. Um, it's a pretty aggressive timeline. Uh, the, we will be winding everything down uh, by by July 1st. Um, our plan is to um, stop all um, expenses against the fund as of April 1st. Uh, there's a lot of work that has to be done in order to do that. Um, we absolutely value all the work that, um, that the PSCC staff as well as the commissioners have done over the past nine years. Um, we strongly feel that there is a, a ton of value that has been gained from this. Um, we think that there will be a, a vacuum um, from, from this decision. 
And, you know, our, our goal at this point is really to how do we address that vacuum? How do we ensure that a lot of these activities and assets um, can move forward from here? And um, we wanted to keep this meeting short with you guys today just to give you this, this news and information. Um, I wanted to allow all of you guys to kind of process it um, since it is it's new information to, I think, just about everyone. Um, I'm, I'm sure everyone's going to have a million questions. Um, we, have, we still have a million questions. Um, we want to schedule some follow-up um, working sessions with all of you. Um, there, there's big questions that, that, there, that we don't have answers to. You know, so for example, the role of the SWIC. You know, what happens with that role? We recognize that that's a necessity within the state of Arizona um, to move forward on, on funding opportunities as well as coordination opportunities. Um, we recognize that the statewide plan will need a home. We recognize that um, you know, a lot of the technical documents that have been developed through this commission over the past couple of years will, will need a home. Um, we have open questions around, you know, how do we archive that materials? How do we keep that materials alive? So there's a lot of stuff there that, that we've kind of taken a first cut at and put together a straw man to start to, to define. Um, but today's purpose really was to get this information out to everybody, um, allow the commissioners to process it, um, and so that we can come back and we can ask, you know, some, some good questions and, and get input from you guys as to, you know, how do we move on from here? Um, there's a memo that um, we'll go out after this meeting um, that really kind of outlines, you know, where, where we're at in the process, what some of these closeout activities will be, um, and, and, and really just wanting to thank everyone that's been involved in this process for the past nine years. Justin, um, anything else that you wanted to add at this point? Yeah, I, I think Aaron covered it, that there is an awful lot of the capabilities that uh, the community uh, has built up over the last 10 years, um, and we want to make this transition as smooth as we can and be able to sustain as many of the capabilities uh, that have been developed as possible. Um, we'll certainly be working with all of our partner state agencies, um, as well as with a number of the, the regional governance groups that have been created. Um, to, to make sure that the coordination uh, that has been taking place, um, at least there are opportunities for that type of coordination to continue. I, I can't say enough about um, the team and the effort that they've put in. I know um, many of them are um, very upset about this, to say the least. Um, and, and I know they feel that they've made commitments to the community and um, it, there's some frustration that they, they can't fulfill those commitments, and, and I hope everyone is understanding of that. Um, this is not, not something that we were seeking. This is not something we we're planning. Um, if anything, it's completely the opposite direction of everything that we had planned. Um, so with that, I'd open it up. To and I did want, and I forgot to mention this earlier. I apologize. It's just again. Um, while we are winding down the PSIC office and the spending of PSIC office general funds by April 1st, um, we do have Homeland Security grant projects that we have been working with the regional partners on, and those, those grant projects will continue through the end of the period of performance on uh, May 31st. So we, we will be continuing to work with uh, uh, each of the, the racks that have been involved on those gap closure projects. Um, through May. So, uh, questions or comments from the commissioners at this point? This is Pat Quinn. Yes, Pat? Um, I just want to say right up front, you know, I've been associated off and on for the last seven years, and I think the current members of the office have done a fantastic job. It's a real disappointment to hear that this is the direction that the uh, legislature wants us to go when we are so close to a to achieving interoperability in southern Arizona right now. Um, and with the LEC um, burgeoning right on the horizon, we're definitely going to need some sort of state direction. Uh, technology is the, is the key to doing public safety in an efficient manner and in a safe manner. And if the legislature isn't going to uh, allow us to govern ourselves and to be able to 
come up with the solution from within, uh, then I think it's a huge step backwards. So I applaud the, the current members and past members of the PSIC office for the work that they've done. Certainly uh, long-term commissioners like Mike Worrell and, and Jesse Cooper have been around forever. Uh, past guys like Paul Wilson with PSIC and uh, Mark Venuti, but um, uh, we, we really need to do something and, and come together either under Homeland Security or another organization um, and keep this going because it's just too important to public safety to let it drift away. <clears throat> Pat, thank you for those comments. I absolutely agree. Um, you know, the, the list of names is, is very, very long. And it, it would absolutely just continue. Um, so good, good comments. Um, absolute things that that we want to talk through, and um, we, you know, at this point, we're really looking for the community to step up. Um, you know, I, I think we we will facilitate the conversations, um, but we're also looking for who are the next leaders and who's going to own this moving forward. Other this comments. Is Mike, this is Mike Worrell. Yep, Mike. Yes, I agree with all the comments that Pat made, and I would like to say that, you know, while we did not, we were not able to create a statewide radio system, some of the things that we've done over the past several years are looked at as national models, and I think that, that shouldn't be forgotten. You know, our com, com unit program and our, uh, you know, the way we, that all the people are going to work in the all hazards communications, um, unit. I mean, those are things that, uh, they weren't small achievements, and people look to us, so it's really a shame to see this go away. Mike, yeah, absolutely. You know, one of the things I'd really like to see from this and in talking with Brian as well is we really want to capture those accomplishment, accomplishments. Um, I, I, you're absolutely dead on. These are these are tasks that have taken years to, to work through and to build the maturity and to build the collaboration and the commitment from the community. Um, and we really need to make sure that that, that message continues to, to live on. And on the second note, too, also, you know, the, the, the PSCC and the SIC created a forum which, you know, all public safety could get together from all over the state and would share ideas and uh, share resources to create interoperable solutions for our users out there and help the citizens of Arizona. So it's really sad to see you go away. Yep. Thank you, Mike. <coughs> Other comments from the commissioners? Aaron, <clears throat> excuse me, Aaron, this is Steve Campbell. Thanks, Steve. Um, I mean, it's Pat Quinn and Mike were all obviously uh, hit a bulk of it, but as a, as a privileged member to be a part of this commission for the last uh, better part of three years, um, the P6 staff does deserve a very good uh, recognition and acknowledgement for the work that they've been able to do. And sitting as the chair of one of the regional um, uh, wireless systems. Um, this is going to be a huge blow into the momentum. And um, it's, it, again, I'm kind of echo what others have already said before me that it is. It's a sad day for the, for from my perspective. But I also think we have, if we capitalize on that momentum by the folks that who are actively involved, the Mike Worrells, the Jesse Coopers, the you know Mark Minutis, all of the folks that have been here from uh, almost day one um, to keep these. Keep the momentum going. Um, we shouldn't shouldn't let that roll down the road just because we've lost this part of it. You know, it's not trying to diminish any value that you have had and you and your staff have had. I, I compliment every one of them, and they've been a great help and really have moved some of the rural areas forward by their assistance, their direction, uh, anyway from programming to policies and procedures. So my hats off to everybody. But I hope uh, all those who are a part of this. Commission, as well as those who are, who are listening today, is don't let us stop now. We've got a lot of work to do, and let's just capitalize on that. Thank you. Steve, thank you, and you know, thanks for the conversation we had just a couple weeks ago too. Um, you know, it, it's interesting. You know, as all you guys know, in dealing with you know traumatic situations, you know, there's ranges of emotions, right? Um, I think my team's gone through every single one of those at least five or six times over the past week. Um, it, it, but you know what? We need to end on that positive note. We do need to figure out how this can move on. Um, you're, you're dead on. Thank you. Other comments from the commissioners? 
it, and like I said, you know, we recognize this is, um, you know, kind of kind of shocking news. Just wanted to get this information in your hands so you can start to mull over it. Um, Justin's going to be working with everyone to to set up, you know, a, a additional times for us to meet. We're probably going to do some sub working groups with some folks as well to kind of work through some of the specifics. Um, work, work, Justin's putting together a, a kind of a straw man or an agenda of, of specific things that we need to work through. Um, some of them I think are easy. Some of them are a lot more complicated. Um, um, and I also just want to see if anyone from the SIEC also has any comments. This is Mark Venuti, Aaron. I, I agree with the comments that have already been made. I think we've made a lot of progress. There's been a lot of work. This is kind of a punch in the gut to see this go this direction. But, but we really do need to to buckle down here and see. There are a lot of things the SIEC has tasks to them that need to continue. So where, where are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? And then if there's other things that need to be accomplished as far as what the PSGC's uh, obligations were that now will be diminishing. Yep. Thank you, Mark, and, and thank you for your leadership. I appreciate it. Anyone else from the SIEC? Hey, this is uh, Mike Sacco from the uh, Pima County Sheriff's Department, and uh, I just want to let you know I'm here. I joined late, uh, but I've been listening to what's been going on. Uh, I don't really have anything else to add, though. Okay. So I, I don't know at what point you, you joined, but I'm sure you kind of get the gist of what we're talking about. Yes, I've been on for, for most of the call. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Um, it, you know, we do have um, open call to the public. I know it's, it's different meetings, so we haven't received any slips, but if there's anything from anyone um, from the public, please make comment at this point. Hey, Aaron, Gil Araki, yep. maybe before we uh, go to the public, or maybe you don't have any public there, I'm not sure, but um, I, I guess one of the things I'm, I'm thinking out loud with you is um, on the way forward, um, what could we anticipate uh, as far as us discussing or, I mean, I heard you say there was going to be some work groups and so forth. Um, can you give us in, some insight onto that? Justin, you want to go ahead? Absolutely. So uh, obviously there's there's a lot that we need to look at both operationally but also in terms of identifying the the core capabilities and functions, if you will, that um, the, the staff and stakeholders have been doing in this structure over the last 10 years. So we're going to look at all the projects, programs, and uh, activities that the commission, the SIEC, and our office um, to figure out uh, – if some of those things can be transitioned to other state agencies or other entities as appropriate, um, we'll need to look through all the policy standards and procedures that have been created to see, you know, and in many cases there, they may end up in different places and different homes for authority. Um, so there, there's conversations that have to happen uh, uh, regarding those types of things over, you know, obviously the SIEC can continue to have their operating principles document as their own own document. Um, but for example, the errors policies and procedures that relate to that, the communications policies and procedures. There needs to be conversations with the state training officer to determine, you know, what, what some viable options are for those types of things. Um, we are also, from a practical standpoint, are going to need to look through various contracts that we have to see if. Um, they should be extended, modified, or assigned to other entities. Um, those are kind of minor things. And then the, the assets, the documentation, et cetera. Um, th there's a lot of institutional knowledge that has been built up. Um, we, For example, our, our website has a tremendous amount of resources, and so we're going to want to make sure that uh, those resources are maintained as much as possible. Um, and obviously throughout this process, uh, uh, Chairman Sandine mentioned earlier that we'll be sending out a, a memorandum to everyone, kind of outlining the high-level tasks that need to be accomplished. Um, but every two weeks, we'll make sure to keep everybody updated as new items are identified, as transitions take place. Um, we'll, we'll both keep our website updated and, and our, our stakeholder list informed. Um, there's also 
conversations we'll need to have related to the, the SIEC as their standalone committee and what happens there um, and other programs of that nature. Does that help, Gil? Oh, yes, thank you. Appreciate yep, it. You so, yeah, Mr. Chairman, uh, this is Michael Sherman. I Just to uh, a amplify a bit, the director has asked us for two specific deliverables I can reference to uh, uh, developing accomplishments, and, and in fact, uh, we're to provide him with a, a detailed report on what has been accomplished by uh, the commission uh, staff and work groups over the last 10 years. And so, uh, you know, we heard reference to some of those by some uh, uh, telephonically here, but we would encourage uh, you to, to please share what you think um, uh, those accomplishments are and, and provide those to Justin to assist us in de developing that report. If I'm not mistaken, uh, I think the director did intend to send that report to the legislature. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, and in addition to just the accomplishments, uh, asking for uh, thinking on opportunities for improvement and 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 things that might have might be done differently uh, going forward. So, uh, we encourage really anyone on this call to uh, share your thinking in that regards. And then, as Justin mentioned, we we do have a. a, a deadline of March 12th to have a specific wind-down plan to the director, and uh, we can't do that in a vacuum, and so uh, please, uh, you know, be, be proactive in, in uh, your suggestions on, uh, you know, where some of the functions and assets, uh, you know, may, could be placed in your recommendation on that, so we are under kind of a, a timeline uh, for that, so I just wanted to thank you. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Um, any other comments from the public? Uh, this is Mark Schroeder. Hey, Mark. Hey. Um, just wanted to offer, um, and I don't sit on the uh, the board at this time, but uh, the Arizona chapter of APCO and NINA uh, would uh, always be willing to help in any way that they can during uh, transition times or with any, uh, any type of support that might be needed. So if you could, uh, uh, if there's anything that is needed, um, please get a hold of one of us, and we'll be glad to help. I appreciate that very much, Mark. This is Doug Mummert. Hey, Doug. Hi there. Uh, I agree with everything that's been set up to this point, uh, especially the statements of support by the commissioners and the committee members. I'd like to thank everyone involved uh, to this point and congratulate you on all the accomplishments up to this point. I just want to remind everybody, I mean, it's obvious that statewide interoperable communications is a priority for first responders, and I urge everyone to uh, keep that in mind moving forward. And please let myself and the uh, Phoenix Fire Department know what we can do to help keep moving that forward. Thank you. Thank you, Doug. Other comments from the public? Well, I appreciate everybody's time today. Um, there will not be a PSCC meeting next Thursday, but we will be um, reaching out to everybody with some follow-up met meetings um, and additional information. This memo will go out today that we referenced earlier to give you kind of some of this written in, in um, so you can kind of look through it. Um, but please, if you have ideas or comments, um, please feel free to reach out to, to, to me or, or Justin or anyone else on the staff. Um, if nothing else, um, thank you all very much for calling in.